We're almost there. So we're going to wrap up all the um, mechanical mod, the engine and the brakes. Yes, that's it. And then after that, it's going to be all the carbon fiber in and out. And then the, the seats with all the colors and everything. And then the car will be done. So today I'm going to finish off powder coating um, the valve covers and the calipers and then install them and I'm like usual I'm not gonna do a how-to video I'm just gonna show you guys uh, what I did and uh, how it turned out so I'm gonna jump back in the engine bay continue with that and then move on to the calipers um, as you guys can see on the last one um, the calipers I didn't show you the full part of coding I actually I just showed you how they look so now you get to see them on the car uh, because now everything's going to be done. So stand by. Now here's a quick view of what it looks like. This is after I um, I degreased it with degreaser and this is after I sandblasted. So you can see the difference. I'm still going to sandblast in there. But big difference already. I haven't done anything yet. Just grease it down and sandblast it and it looks so much better. And then I have to decide what color I'm going to powder coat it, which I still don't know. The one color that's going to look good, I don't really like, but I think I might end up doing it. But this is it for now. Oh, uh, this part is already done. Big difference. Big difference. Everything is all taped up, um, plugged up with plugs. All the screw holes have been plugged up. Underneath has been taped up. I put, last night I baked them for like, uh, what is it, half an hour or more to get all the oils out of it. And now I'm just going to start the first layer of powder coat, which is chrome. That means it's going in a candy color. So here we go. I like to do this with the car outside but it's the middle of winter and I'm not doing this with the car well <laughs> the car's on jack stand so I can't put it outside and I don't have the room in my driveway right now so now I'm gonna put in there let it bake out and then I'll come back and put the final color on it let that bake out and I still have to do the calipers afterwards so once that's done I'll put the valve covers back on then I tackle the, the calipers I don't want to rip this car apart too much because you know the brain's going I figure where everything goes so I'm just doing it stage by stage for now so once that's done I'll put the color on well I guess I needed to bake these things longer the oil didn't completely come out of them so they're not quite chrome they're a brownish chrome and uh, they're still pretty chrome but you can see the little cracks in it from where the oil I guess what well, there was still a little bit of oil in there and I baked these things at a long time for 450 degrees but now I'm just going to try and put the last color on there and see how it turns out. I tried a different technique where I let it cool down a bit and now the powder is not sticking to a lot of the chrome so I'm going to have to put it back in. Let it get a little bit warmer. And then I take it out and put more powder where it is a lot of chrome. So yeah, that's why I don't like doing it this way. But nothing trying, nothing done. Here they are. They're done. They look pretty good if I say so. Not my best job. Um, the backside underneath, uh, I think is it this one? You can see it's a little bit light there. Um, this one turned out pretty good. But this one over here looks good all the way here i mean i don't think you're gonna see it but under here 
Woohoohoo! I completely missed that one. Uh, but <clears throat> you shouldn't see too much of that. But that's it is for now. So uh, let's hope uh, you don't see too much of that. If you look in it, you, you see the brown? Yeah. That's still the all the little galleys in there that oil was in. And you see that spot right there? Right there. Yep. It's smooth as hell, but I guess it's just from the oil. So it is what it is. I don't have time to strip these and redo them. So I'm just going to get get ready to install these. I did buy um, Mercedes valve cover gasket to put on there just to make sure. So I'm going to get this prep, put the gasket on and then put them on the car. I got to take these back off, put the gasket maker around it, put them on and then just um, bolt them on the car. I got 16 spark plugs and 16 spark plug wires to change that I got from uh, FCP Euro. And trust me, these are a pain in the you know what to do because the way they're tucked up in there, it's gonna be a while. So I'm gonna swap out these spark plugs, clean up the coil packs like I said before, and then throw those on. And this thing should be back together ready for its first start. So I might as well just go do it now and stop uh, procrastinating. I have to say it turned out pretty good. And the big thing about it, it's all going to be covered up and hidden. But, <laughs> uh, I mean, if it wasn't going to be uh, exposed, it would be great. Because it, it looks pretty good, except for right here. That's just silicone drying up. It's a little bit light right there. But otherwise, it turned out pretty good. And once the cover goes on, you might be able to see right here. And, of course, right there. But, hey... At least it's better than when the shape they were in because, man, they were in bad shape. Uh, that will be it for here. I just have to order two, three hoses to replace and then that would be it. And Bob's your uncle. I just have to do red. I'm going to change the, the radiator fluid, oil, transmission, because the transmission is leaking. And that should be it. The more I think I'm getting closer, it's just the more just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I end up doing these projects, but it's looking good. It's looking good. Can't complain. Now I got to go get a rest. I have to go get some rest because as you hear, I'm kind of stuffed up. I've been sick for a while, so I'm going to leave it here for tonight. Well, here are the calipers. They're taking off the car and man, they are in bad shape. I don't think these things have ever been cleaned. Uh, just look at the build up on this stuff. So I'm going to scrape a lot of that off first Before I put it into my powder coating machine and contaminate that all my sand I'm going to scrape off, scrape off all the heavy stuff Then I'm going to throw these in there sandblast powder coat them and then show you guys at the end I won't show you guys the full process. You guys have seen me done so many cars before Here is the finished product. So what I did I powder coat the rotors so um, the centers don't rust anymore and also inside the grooves they are powder coated and then I did the candy red on the caliper new brake pads and everything so now it's looking a lot better than what um, it was before um, now I don't mind you seeing these things through the, the 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 rims because before they were disgusting now I'm just waiting on the sticker to put on here and then that would be it for the braking system look a lot better perform a lot better and um, let me show you the back. Same thing was done to the back. Um, new pads, uh, rotors uh, powder coated and uh, machined, back plate painted, and now everything is ready to go. Um, this is the way <laughs> I want my stuff looking, and it's gonna stay looking like this. Not like that rusty, beat up, dirty crap that was on here before, but. Looking good. So once I, uh, this is actually, this is it for all the suspension. Now I just have to put the wheels back on and put it on the ground.
So there you go. Let me know what you think. Uh, thumbs up, no thumbs down, or whatever. <laughs> but let me know what you think. What the heck? Um, now I have to start uh, working on the exterior stuff now. It's already lowered. Didn't show you guys just end links and they were pain in the butt. But it's already lowered. Um, so once I put these uh, wheels back on, it will be really low on the ground. I'm not dumping it, but just proper. Just like I do with my, my other cars. Everything has a proper height. So this that's what I'm going to do next. Actually, no, sorry. That's already done. So once I put the wheels on, put it on the ground, and I'm going to start on the exterior mods, uh, front lid, diffuser, painting out some of the other stuff that's black, uh, grill. All that stuff's going to be done in the next next episode. So that's it for now. Laters. Oh,